we actually spoke to our family and our, our mum about it and she uses um, coffee grounds on her skin to prevent wrinkles. So um, we thought why not start this in Switzerland um, and give it a go. So we get uh, fresh coffee beans um, from a Swiss roastery um, and actually we use their coffee beans that have been discarded so it, it's actually upcycling their old coffee beans. And what you do is you just grab a handful of it um, on wet skin and just rub it all over your all over your skin and then rinse it off with water. We make it from home. We've got um, we've got quite a good system now where we um, take it in turns grinding the coffee, mixing the oils in, adding the salts and sugars. In Switzerland, um, it seemed that the advice was all get everything prepared, um, get your business plan polished, and then start your business. We had our product, we had our website, but we were still um, a little unsure about what to do next uh, to turn this into a business. And from this, we were able to put together a, a real business plan, um, figure out whether our idea was going to be viable in Switzerland. Switzerland in general is quite open to new startups. <coughs> um, there seems to be quite a lot of help out there. In Switzerland, the, the, the process is a little more complicated than in England. We're in two options. We can either register as sole traders or general partnership because there's two of us, um, or we can become a GmbH um, and turn the company into a legal entity of its own. Um, in, in Switzerland, in order to form into a GmbH, we, we need to um, provide 20,000 francs in, in the bank. We've decided to, to start off as a partnership, um, which effectively means we're both sole traders, we're both liable for the, for the company, mm. um, and we're both liable for our own tax. There wasn't a huge amount of startup costs involved because, um, well, I mean, it, it helped that I'm a graphic designer by trade, so I, I could take care of all the branding and um, that side of the business. Our main costs have really been the website um, and then ordering the packaging and labelling. The hardest thing about a business is starting. And once you're up and running with a product, I would then give the advice to come back and, and really start to um, put together a business plan.